Okay, I'm going to play some random Scott music from the past decade or two. Let's see. Am I angry? Fuck yeah, I'm angry. This is the Scott Manifesto. Contemporary American capitalism is monopolized by tyrannical industrial companies that threaten the foundations of democracy and individual liberties. The moral corrupt industrial complex runs on excess greed, commercialism, and profit sophistry. This drives civilization on a climactic parabola of angst. Although our own invention, the imperial machine is ethically devolutionary, allowing global actions of subhuman immortality of our own prehistoric ancestors. War can be explained but not justified as part of human nature. To enlightened warrior philosophers, long-term authoritarianism is unacceptable. Rome collapsed and so shall our imperial industrial complex, at least at the rate of our perpetual progress and terror propaganda. Our government is at least as corrupt as ancient Rome. Thomas Jefferson and George Washington believed in the sovereignty of individuals in an agrarian state. Only two generations ago, the United States was still a proud agrarian nation. Now industry casts its shadow over past agricultural inheritance. Civilization is accelerating faster than ever before along the Christian timeline, swept upwards by population, manufacturing, pollution, and technology. We are on a parabola. We are reaching a climax of excellence. History shows the Dark Ages follow the structural collapse of existence. Structures of civilization collapse like buildings with weakened foundations often neglected by corrosion and ignorance of the architecture by inhabitants, rulers, and owners. The strength and security of a foundation must come from the people who want to be responsible for the system that protects them. There must be a free will of stewardship fostered by truly democratic communities. Strength and security within civilization must come from freely educated people willing to hold virtue higher than greed. We must have the will to practice tolerant democracy above the will to dominate through capitalism. Free will of stewardship by environmental awareness is naturally occurring and should be promoted for the preservation and evolution of democracy. The answer is democratic communities. Family farms have been surrounded, attacked, and devoured by three giants, the monster known as biotech chemical companies, the machine of military manufacturing, and the crown of commercial corporations that killed our ma and pa. This is wrong. The pyramid of capitalism remains upside down. The trickle-down economic theory that claims that wealth from the rich upper-class few will trickle down to a broad-based population of the lower-class poor, that is wrong. Angst is a natural reaction for a decadent society based on commercial entertainment, ignorance, convenience, and greedy profit. There can never be perfection in this world of reality, yet some ideals are true enough to live by. Environmental stewardship of life and land is a true ideal. Environmental ideals include the world around us, what we do to it, and what we put into ourselves. In order to save the environment and ourselves, we need to be more aware of our diet and what food we consume and where it comes from. Being able to provide significant amounts of food is important for self-sufficiency. No system is perfect, however, some work better than others. Even if post-apocalyptic visions never fully manifest, provide for yourself as a responsible human in a free country. Learn how to grow organic, living plants for food, medicine, and an ecosystem. Learn, plan, practice independent thought as a responsible human in relation to society. And this thesis analysis of my life in America today leads me to a conclusion that I am too dependent on corporate monopolies. These poisons may not only cause my death, but will continue to cause extinction of species on this planet. Our extinction may be caused by this dependence on unrenewable resources that we are conditioned to use, like the convenient disposable sheep that we are. We will drown in our own pollution and starve from a broken food chain. Corporations spread poisons, biochemical hazardous byproducts into all three elemental bodies of this planet. They pour pollution into the oceans and rivers. They dump pollution into the earth using landfills. They release toxins into the sky and air around us. This will cause the fourth element of fire to destroy life on this planet because the sun's intensity will grow through the weakened ozone atmosphere. Also, geothermal volcanic towers of Earth's pool will erupt. While the Earth is pissed, we are her into the children. I am a baby in the woods. Motherfucker. Show 
respect for the mountains, open plains, and the forest. My name's uh, Paul Watson, and I'm the founder and the president of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. And that's an organization that uh, we set up in 1977, not as a protest group, but as a group to intervene against illegal activities. So we're, what, we're, what we are is an international anti-poaching organization. reading a lot of Gandhi at the time and we thought all we had to do was put our bodies on the line and that would do, that would solve the problem. So we put our, our plan into action and we got between the harpoon and the, and the whales and in front of us were eight magnificent sperm whales that were fleeing for their life and uh, every time the harpooner on the Soviet vessel tried to get a shot I would maneuver the boat and block his aim. And this worked for about 20 minutes, and we were feeling real good about it, until the Russian captain came uh, running down the catwalk to the harpooner, and he screamed into his ear, and then he turned and smiled at us and brought his finger across his neck like that, and that's when I realized that uh, Gandhi wasn't going to work for us that day. Gandhi wasn't going to work for us that day. It is now 6.30 in the a.m., this is Baba O.J. speaking directly to you, right down to earth, in a language one can easily understand. We got a list of hits coming at you this time.
Secret experiments during the Cold War, the U.S. Army tested nerve gas, hallucinogenics, and other chemicals on its own soldiers to see if these chemicals could be used during wartime to incapacitate the enemy. What? 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 What do you want to tell him? What? 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 I want. I want him to say uh, uh, that they're doing everything physically possible. Uh, uh to keep this all from destroying our wetlands, to keep this all from destroying our wetlands. Uh, that's all we've been asking from the beginning. What, 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 what do you want to tell him? What, what, what? I want, I want him to say uh, uh, that they're doing everything physically possible. We, we have to conduct some um, expansion tests on some devices. Yep, so I must have remember this one. This is uh, my flash device. Some people thought that there would be an oil benefit, an energy benefit to our uh, investment of, of military uh, might in, in Iraq. W what's the long-term result of all of that, of Iraq specifically? So anything bad that happens or anything negative uh, has a, a positive impact on crude prices. You know, the current estimates say that we probably have well over 100 years of coal, about 50 years of oil, 60 years of natural gas. But the question isn't whether in the short term we're going to have enough energy, but what's going to happen 50 years from now? What's going to happen 100 years from now? It's becoming sexy and cool to be green. Our challenge is to make sure it's not just a trend. There's a movement building. There's a movement that's growing from and leveraging the crisis of our time. 
unsustainability is unsustainable. It can't last. Traditional ways of farming with the earth. Organic, they're starting to go local. Go out and do what the government should be doing for the whales. Because when we're connected, we protect. When we're disconnected, we destroy. It feels like war. People get caught up, they get angry. We're insane. And we're talking about people who, you know, do not like people like me at all. <laughs> um, and, and just because they don't know me and they have a stereotype of me. And for what? Kidding. By standing for what is right, we cause our world to come in that direction. We manifest what we focus on. This is a question of self-preservation, and uh, we're doing this for ourselves. We are standing for and co-creating what is right, that our energy goes into what is right. That ocean is our lifeblood, it's, uh, it's our heart, it's, uh, it's everything to us. And if we kill the ocean, we kill ourselves. While I was in the tree, I was able to begin to befriend loggers and people in the Pacific Lumber community because I did my best to never create an us and them, to never create an enemy. Because if you create an enemy, then you have war. Granola munching, tree hugging, tofu eating, radical extremist, wacko hippie foo foo new ager. <laughs> you know, that's the box people want to stick me in. Can we please be human together? Can we please find what is best in us? What is what is in common instead of what is different? Protected whales. We were able to save more whales this year than they than they actually killed, and hopefully we'll do better next year because every year we're getting more and more effective. People are starting to go. Oh, I like this connection. I think I want to keep being this way. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. On the first day, God said, let there be light and goodness. On the second day, God said, let there be water and sky. On the third day, God said, let there be plants and trees and flora. On the fourth day, God said, let there be more light, stars. On the fifth day, God said, let there be animals. On the sixth day, God said, let humans come and fuck everything up. And he gave us free will and dominion over those that came before so we can be just like him and they'll show us. On the seventh day, God just chilled. On the eighth day, God said, I bloody hate Mondays. Let me create sound, sound, sound. Sing along. Yo, boss, we got nukes. It's fucked up. federal law enforcement officers, 
and ordinary citizens about the impact of legalized marijuana. Do I care that you don't care that you don't care about the planet, about the planet? Do I, do I, do I, do I care that you don't care? About the planet, about the planet. 